Hi guys, it's Mina and I'm going to teach you how to knit a washcloth. What you're going to need is some worsted weight yarn, a crochet hook, some scissors, and size 8 knitting, needle, knitting needles. So first what we're going to do is we are going to make a slip knot by twisting the yarn, making a loop like this, and pulling this piece of yarn right here through and then make a slip knot. Not. And don't worry about it being too big because you're going to, um, because once you put it on the needle, you're going to pull it tight. But again, don't make it too tight because if you make it too tight, you're never going to knit into it later. Hold on, I think that's a little bit too loose. Let me pull it again. Is that too tight? Nope, it's not too tight. So good. So, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to cast on 31 stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. I have to redo it. One, I mean two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31. Okay, so once you've cast it on 31 stitches, we are going to begin knitting. So, for knitting, we knit. So what we're going to do is we're going to knit across. And we're going to do that from for 10 rows. But I'm only going to show you guys one row. Because if I did 10, this would be probably a really long, this video would probably be too long. And then the first rows are, the first 10 rows are going to be the garter stitch. And it's in the garter stitches when you just knit every row. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera.
Okay, so let me... Do one more row for you guys. And then I'll end this video, okay? Sorry, I'm itchy. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to knit across for 10 rows, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next part of the video. Bye.